Now let's get over to Ira Levin, one of our favorites, one of our regulars. He always has some intriguing commodity ideas. Ira, thanks very much for joining us. What are you watching in the commodity market right now? Well, energy is something you have to keep your eyes on at this point in time because what's going on is the market is just enamored with inflation. And inflation, the number one driver right now, is a combination, of course, of high high rates for everything, part of it caused by the inflation. The interesting part is over the weekend, I had a friend that went golfing, you know, in the States where we're not really working today. And his friend runs a major uh, trucking company. He's a broker for all over the United States, a big one, one of the biggest, big name in the States. I can't give the name because I've been sworn to be quiet. But they're telling me freight rates down about 25, 30 percent. The warehouses they're going to are absolutely full of goods. The retailers apparently have overbought, and the supply chains in the United States, they're filling. How do I get that info? You know, you talk to people that are delivering to those different parts, and you start seeing what is going on. So that's one of the areas I look at. Obviously, until inflation comes down, the world, it's not just the United States, we're hell-bent, if you will, on breaking the back of inflation. This will be a year, year and a half process minimum of raising interest rates everywhere to do that. Uh, it's nice that we saw that uh, there are pay raises coming and some of them are happening. I saw that in the UK, they're paying pilots a little more. They've got a rail strike coming. That'll do it. And the states will get the same type of thing. But that can be controlled if you can control energy prices. Ira, like a moron, a moron, I mixed you up with the novelist Ira Levin. It's Ira Epstein, of course, and I, I don't know what put Ira Levin into my head. Thank you very much indeed. What, broadly speaking, are, are, have we been in a commodities bubble, do you think? Interesting question. I think so. I think to a large degree, yes. It, it's a confluence of everything. Who would have thought a Ukrainian war, the loss of grain, Russia shutting off all that oil to the uh, to, to Europe, Europe backing away and joining as it did against Russia? I mean, there's just so much going on at all one time. And yes, to a degree, it has caused that. But that's not going to make it go away. That's the problem. Uh, you still have all this demand pent up, need for food. The Ukraine grain situation not going to change. You're not changing anything there right away. Uh, as winter rolls around, you remember, you're in the dream period right now for Europe. They don't need an awful lot mm -hmm. of the natural gas. They're not in a big heat wave at this point in time. What happens when, after summer solstice, we get into the other part, we start talking fall and winter? Mm -hmm. Then the problems happen. In the U.S., we got, in, a, in our own way, lucky for natural gas prices. Mm -hmm. That is that we had a plant, uh, one of the facilities, blow up. We can't uh, export 16 percent of our nat gas. That well, put nat right. gas in the United States on its butt. We, Ira, Ira, we're sorry. I'm sorry. We'll have to leave it there. Ira Epstein, always great to hear from you. Thanks very much.